What we're setting up here is our first drop on the wall. Typically we're starting from the um, left hand side going to the right hand side. We could have gone the other way but a lot of, lot of graphics start from the left and then go to the right with an overlay. The most important thing with installing any wall graphics is your first drop that the, the drops are square and plumb. In most instances a lot of walls are crooked and you'll see here we have a laser leveler and what it does it has vertical and horizontal lines that are plumb, meaning they're perfectly straight vertically and horizontally. So we lined it up with the top corner and you'll see as we go down this wall is coming out by approximately 15 millimeters. So what that means if we started our graphic in that corner and when it's straight would be short. So we have to move the graphics 15 millimeters that way. So what we're going to do is pre-cut it. So we can do the first one square. 2540 and 2555. So basically that one's higher, this one's lower. So if we start up there, uh, we'll be fine. We'll have enough material to um, finish here. We're setting up our wall graphics for the uh, installation. And what we're noticing here that we have a, an overlap. And typically we talk a minimum of 10 to 13 millimeter overlap, but here we've got 40 millimeters, which is more than enough. What we don't do is we don't butt join it. So what I mean by that, we don't connect them like this, perfectly side by side. The reason why we don't do that uh, is that with time and age, material can um, shrink and, and pull and open up like that. And that obviously will look unsightly for, for, for the client. What we've worked out here is that we have 2,560 millimetres of area. The first wall was 2,555, so we've got five mil to play with. So what we'll do, we'll butt it, so we'll start it right at the top, and we'll have enough when we get to the end.